Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily Freibler. So today's video, I am doing a get ready with me. I love these types of videos because I can talk makeup, I can talk life, I can talk whatever I want. Um, and it's just kind of a fun, casual video. So that's why I'm starting with no makeup. So let's get started with the video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe. I post um, makeup videos, fashion videos, vlogs, a little bit of everything. So I would hope you would subscribe and also give the video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel. So let's get started with the video. So we're gonna do makeup, obviously. I'm gonna use a lot of the products that I used while I was on my cruise. If you haven't seen, I had like vlogs leading up to my cruise, but I do not have a vlog of me like actually on my cruise. I'm gonna use two primers today, the CoverGirl True Blend Illuminating Primer and then the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Matte Primer. I need to get more of my CoverGirl Mattifying Primer. Wow, this is coming out really quickly. Okay, so I'm putting the Mattifying Primer in my T-zone. So I do not have a vlog of my trip. I actually never planned to vlog the cruise experience because I went with my friend Kelly and it was a work trip for her. Um, and I was just like her plus one. So I really didn't want to like, I don't know, be that person being like, hey guys, when like I didn't know anyone. And there were a lot of people on the cruise. There were 450 of us. It wasn't um, all um, from her work, but there were like people that were invited and whatever. There were a lot of people. So I was meeting new people all the time and it was just like, I'm not gonna vlog this experience, you know? Okay, and then the illuminating one, I'm gonna put on the perimeters of my face. So yeah, I didn't vlog and also I hadn't seen Kelly, I don't think since I graduated college, just because Caleb and I move around obviously a lot or we were moving around a lot. And like when I went home, she lives like an hour away. It was just really, it's just been hard to connect because um, we don't go home all that often. So it was great seeing her. We had literally the best time. That's why I didn't vlog. But if you want to see me like preparing and going a little crazy and stressed out before the vlog or before the vacation, go ahead and watch that. So for foundation, I literally love this foundation, you guys, so much. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. I have a full review on my channel, but that was before I started a new skincare regimen. So my face was more oily than it is right now. Right now I would say it's normal to dry a little bit um, just because I have a new skincare routine that I've been doing for about four weeks now. So I think I'm ready to share with you guys what I've been doing. It honestly, like at the beginning of my skin, like when I first went on the cruise right before it, my skin was kind of freaking out. And it was at the beginning of the whole, you know, new skincare. I was breaking out quite a bit. But like before that, I had tried some stuff and whatever. Basically what I've always struggled with is obviously hormonal acne and clogged pores a lot. Even when my skin was really clear over the summer, it always I always had clogged pores like right here and even on my forehead and stuff. And so it always just like kept happening, you know, and it was bumpy and just not the best. So I've started a bunch of new different stuff, not like a bunch. It's not like my skincare routine has that many steps, but like I really am seeing a difference now that I've been using it consistently. So I'm excited to share with you guys what I've been using. You can, they're all very like affordable products. You can get them at the drugstore and or Amazon. And so, yeah, so this foundation, by the way, has been a lifesaver just because the coverage is great, but then also it stays a long time, but then it's also very natural dewy um, finish. And since my skin has been less oily and more dry, I like to use it. So my T-zone still gets occasionally oily. That's why I do use a mattifying primer, but like nowhere near what it used to when, you know, I wasn't using that skincare. So that's new stuff. So look out for a new skincare routine coming soon. But I also really love the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And I did get a new shade after that whole, you know, debacle on the um, review where I was using medium sand. I still use medium sand sometimes to cover blemishes and stuff, but this is light sand. So it is a little light when I do have like tanner on and stuff. And I did put a little bit of self tanner um, on last night. The, what are those called? 
tan something drops. I don't remember what they're called. They're, they're like from Target. It's like a purple bottle. I got them a long time ago and I like to use those sometimes when I'm in a hurry. Yeah, so I'm just blending this out with a sponge. But yeah, the cruise, by the way, you guys, was really, really great. It was honestly so nice to be in the sun and just, yeah. I did get sick afterwards though because to be honest with you, I did not sleep enough. We were just very go, 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 hanging out with a lot of people, meeting a lot of new people. We had kind of a schedule because we had to go to dinner every night and like we wanted to be out in the sun early, but then we would stay up late. It was a great time, but I did get sick afterwards. So my voice still sounds a little bit weird, but even during the cruise, I kind of lost my voice and I kind of knew that I was going to get sick because the start of the... <laughs> Gosh, this was a crazy debacle. I forgot that um, all this, not forgot this all happened, but like I forgot you guys don't know this. My Instagram story knows this. So if you have, don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to go follow me. I try and post stories as much as possible. And basically I'm using, oh, by the way, I'm using my favorite powder now, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I have a video where I'm trying a bunch, I tried it a bunch of new uh, products and this was one of them. So now since my face is drier, I sat with a brush because if I sat with a sponge, it's too much product. And honestly, my face just feels too dry. So I use less product now, which is actually good. The whole debacle when I was leaving Greenville to try to go to Miami, gosh, I don't even know how long ago, three Thursdays ago maybe or something like that. I basically got to the airport at 8 a.m. and didn't end up leaving the airport until basically 8 p.m. is when my flight started taking off. I think it was 7.50 when we actually started like going up into the air. And so I ended up staying at the airport literally for 12 hours because um, there was a tornado warning. I was supposed to fly to Charlotte and Charlotte's runways shut down. No one was going in. No one was going out. And so I couldn't get out on the plane. We literally... Went on the plane twice, got off the plane twice, then they canceled it, and then <laughs> I had to find a new flight, so that one wasn't supposed to take off until 6 p.m., and obviously that got delayed as well because the flight coming in was from Miami, and I'm assuming that was delayed, and so then it made our flight delayed. It just was a big old mess, and so yeah, it was the longest day ever, and I, had, I got five hours of sleep that night before because... I stayed up, you know, with Caleb, we were hanging out, I was packing, couldn't sleep. Like I literally woke up at 5 a.m. for literally no reason. Um, and so I got five hours of sleep. So that was fun. I'm gonna mix these two bronzers. I picked this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Blends bronzer in Sunkissed Up um right before my trip. I really like it because it's more of a like orangey bronzer. It's very perfect for like spring and summer. And then I love the e.l.f. one because it's a little bit more neutral if you can tell the difference. And this one is in Forever Sunkissed. So I'm going to mix the two together. Oops. On my trip, I kind of used both. And then I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Face Brush. I love this for bronzer. So yeah, it was the longest day ever. And then after that, Kelly and I hadn't seen each other, like I said, for so long that we literally stayed up so late talking. And we did that a few times on the trip where we just, you know, sat on the balcony talking and it was so fun, but like, oh my God, exhausting. So I'm trying to get back into the swing of things after being sick um, when I came home. And that's why I just posted those vlogs um, and I haven't posted anything else. I don't know what just happened. I usually have my computer as a monitor and the screen where I can see myself just went out, but it's still recording. So we're good. I'm going to take this down the nose just for like a slight contour and just a little bit of color. Um, I hate leaving my nose blank. Okay. And then the blush I used all trip is the Flower Pots Powder Blush from Flower Beauty. And this is in the shade Peach Primrose. As you can see, I dropped it and broke it. But it's like the perfect peachy blush for a vacation or springtime or whatever have you. Yeah, I just love this blush. I feel like it's kind of dark in here. All right, it's a little brighter with the windows open. What else is going on in my life? Oh, and then when I got back from the cruise, it was Caleb's birthday on Wednesday. Kind of a busy, busy week with me being sick. It was Caleb's birthday. Now I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter. Oh, should I use this? Mm. 
Does this smell? Yeah, I'm not going to use this. Ah, it makes me so mad. I stopped using the butter bronzer. I don't know if I've talked about it on here because I discovered the fragrance in it was making me break out because I would use it for a while and then I would break out more than normal and I'd be like, I don't know what's going on. So I stopped using it. And so I don't, th I think I'm going to boycott all the butter products because the fragrance is just too much. And when I use fragrance free things or things with less fragrance, my skin doesn't go crazy on me. So I think I'm going to boycott this even though I want to use it. But I'm going to use what I used on the trip, Preci Precious Petals from Wet n Wild. It's just oh, it's so pretty. It's honestly pretty blinding if you use too much. So be careful. And then this weekend we were trying to go out for his birthday because his birthday was on Wednesday. So we were trying to go with friends to Dave & Buster's. And we took a lift there. And when we got there, they're like, oh, it's a $10 cover. And we're like, is this a bar? Like we went to Dave and Buster's. And I guess they were showing the fight on Saturday. And like, I don't like any of that stuff. So I kind of forgot that it was even going on. Like I saw stuff online a little bit, but I forgot it was going on. And I didn't think Dave and Buster's would be showing the fight. So that sucked. So we couldn't go to Dave and Buster's. It was just, we still had a great night. We came back here after going out to dinner and, you know, had a great time. But, you know, Caleb loves Dave and Buster's and I just really, I really wanted to go there and take him and go with friends, but that's okay. So this is my favorite little palette. This is called Shake Your Palm Palms from Too Faced. I got it from my, I don't even know what, from uh, Caleb's sister. There you go. <laughs> She's not like my anything. She's Caleb's sister. And for Christmas, and it's so good. I brought this on the cruise with me. It's just so pretty, like so many neutral shades. And I'm going to show you a look that I've been doing that's so, so easy. Basically, I take this brown one called Let's Bounce. I think that's what it's called. Nope, it's not. Why would they do that? They flipped it around. It's called Get Laid Over, I guess. <laughs> and I put that in my crease. I freaking forgot how much I love having my eyebrows tinted. My eyebrows on the trip, honestly, were a freaking mess. <laughs> um, To be honest with you, I forgot tweezers. They just looked awful. And when I got back, I plucked them. <laughs> and then I'm going to zoom you in. I plucked them when I got back and I tinted them and I do have a full video about how I tint my eyebrows or how I tried it the first time on my channel. So go check that out. But it literally makes the biggest difference and I don't have to do that much with them and I the shape's better. It just all around looks so much better. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I just like scrunch it and go under the eye a little bit. You could also do this with bronzer. And then the main thing that I think really like makes my eyes stand out and I love to do is take this brown and this one is called Let's Bounce. This one's called Let's, Let's Bounce. Um, it's like a kind of a purpley brown. And I take this um, brush, the Morphe M432, any like flat brush like this would work. And I just smudge along the lash line, kind of like you're doing eyeliner. It just like adds a little bit of dimension to the eye without doing actual harsh eyeliner. And if you find that's even too harsh, you could always go back in and just blend. Okay, so let's talk cruise other than, you know, it was great to be in the sun, all that kind of stuff. So we were on the biggest cruise ship in the world. We were on Symphony of the Seas, Royal Caribbean, and it was ginormous, you guys. I think there were 17 floors altogether. Obviously, you don't like do everything on all those floors. Some of them are just for like mainly rooms and stuff like that. Um, there were like four or five pools. There was an adult only like pool bar, um, pool hot tub area, which honestly we didn't spend that much time in because it was so crowded. And there were like we, her company was freaking amazing and we got a balcony room, which I didn't have on my last cruise. We had like a room below the sea and there was like a like carnival area kind of thing with a carousel and like 
There was an aqua show that was showed out there, but unfortunately they had to cancel it a bunch because the sea was too rough. Like, honestly, it was really, really, really choppy. Um, and I didn't think it was going to be that bad on that big of a ship because I had gone on a cruise ship before that was like one of the smaller ones. And I didn't, I only took Dramamine like maybe once or twice on a seven day cruise. This time I had to do Dramamine multiple times and I did motionese like behind my ear. It's like a little oil every single day because I could feel it when we would take off and we would be at dinner, which was deck four or five, maybe five. And we would be pushing off around that time and like I could feel it. Like the first night we actually took off, Kelly and I are sitting at dinner and we're just like, like I didn't think I was going to puke, but I just felt weird. So that sucked like how rocky it was. I never got sick or anything. I don't usually get seasick, but it was just, yeah, not the best. And we didn't get to see the aqua show, which was disappointing. There was just a lot of fun stuff to do. The only thing is I'm not the type of person to do a ton on vacation. Like I'm going on vacation unless it's somewhere to like sightsee. I don't like, I, I, I didn't want to do a bunch of activities. All I really wanted to do was like lay my butt on a chair and enjoy the sun. Um, I didn't want to be inside doing some activity, you know, that kind of thing. So like, I don't know if I would go, I don't know. I do know. I would not go on that big of a cruise ship again like I wouldn't like if it was free I would but like I wouldn't pay my own money because I don't think I would like get my money's worth I guess if that makes sense just because there's so much to do if you're someone on vacation that like can't sit still and you like to go do things and you don't like to just sit by the pool and enjoy the sun then yeah go like that's a great thing they have stuff for everyone um but like yeah, not my not my favorite thing. Luckily, I didn't feel guilty because I wasn't paying for it. But like, yeah, it just um, I wouldn't pay for it myself. And so yeah, there's pros and cons to everything, right? And uh, it was still an amazing experience, and I'm so thankful I was invited and could go and stuff. But that's kind of my two cents on cruise ships, you know. Um, but we did go to their island, Royal Caribbean's island called Coco Cay in the Bahamas. That was freaking amazing. Like it was just, it was kind of like Disney World to be honest because like it was just like so well done and they had food there that's included. Our drinks were included. Like it was, it was amazing. I really, really liked it, which I wasn't sure, you know, how I would like their own island. But yeah, it was a, it was a good time. I don't think I've explained what I've been doing in a while. So obviously I lined the upper part. I used the Anastasia Powder Brow Duo that I've literally had this for years because I go off and on using it. Um, and mine's in dark brown and I filled in my eyebrows since I tint them. Um, I don't always like, I go back and forth on using stuff and brow powder is so much easier when I do tint, tint them because I don't really have to do much. And then I use the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brown. This is just the clear one. I need to get more of the medium brown one. Um, and then I used it the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. I'm letting that dry. I'm just going to put a lip liner on. This is the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Nude. I'm just going to line my lips with this. Okay, and then for lips, I'm going to use Milani Nude Embrace. This is a matte lipstick. Um, ooh, I like that color. And then I'm going to put the e.l.f., whatever, Lip Plumping Gloss in Champagne Glam on top. So I already asked this on Instagram stories, but I know a lot of people follow me on here and not on Instagram, like a lot. So if you have an Instagram, please go follow me on Instagram. It's Emily underscore Freibler. Um, I post a lot more frequently on there just because it's easier, to be honest. So I posted this on my Instagram stories, but 
If you guys want to see something on my channel, please let me know. I'm going to be doing a Walmart haul soon. I'll probably do an Amazon one as well. Unfortunately, like a lot of the stuff for Amazon vacation wear didn't work for me. I did bring a decent amount on my cruise, but no swimsuits that were new. Cause like literally I tried a bunch of swimsuits and they just didn't work for me. That's going to be coming. I'm going to be doing, I don't know. I just have a lot of video ideas in mind, but if you have anything specific you want to see, please let me know. I'm sure a lot of you guys are shopping for like spring and break stuff. So I want to get some of that content out. Um, and just like more spring clothing. I cannot wait to wear spring clothing. No idea. All right, so I'm gonna use the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Oh, and then for um, Easter in April, we're gonna go down to Florida to see Caleb's mom and his stepdad at their place and his brother and sister and his sister's boyfriend are coming down. I literally can't wait. We haven't all been in Florida together in like years. We used to do a yearly trip. Um, we did it, I don't know, maybe like three years in a row or something, or at least a couple years in a row. Um, but then since Caleb and I moved a lot the last couple years, we all haven't had time to like go down there together. So we went down there last Easter and we're going to do that again. So I'm hoping that it's going to be nice and warm down there when we go because Easter is late again this year. Is it Fat Tuesday? Oh my gosh, I have to get punch keys if it is Fat Tuesday. Yep, it is. I need to get punch keys today. I'm gonna go to the grocery store, so. I hope they have some left. I'm trying to eat healthy, but like, I can't pass up punch keys, you know? I'm Polish, I can't, I can't do it. All right, you guys, that is it for my makeup. Oh, I'm actually gonna spray a little bit of this, not a lot. This is the Neutrogena Radiant Setting Spray. I got this right before my cruise as well because, again, my skin was dry, so I was trying to like, put a little bit of radiance or hydration into it. I'm actually gonna go like this so I don't get my eyes. That's a little trick if you find that when you do your setting spray, it like makes your mascara run or it always like gets on them and they droop. Put something in front of your eyes and just spray your face. Okay. Anyway, that is it for this video. I'm gonna do my um, hair off camera. I'm actually gonna do an IG tutorial on stories. So that'll probably be saved on my highlights if you wanna go check that out. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every single week on beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. So I'll help you. I hope you will subscribe and I'll see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.